Hi guys, how to create a great LinkedIn profile. So my name is Keith Lau, I'm your recruitment advisor, and today is April 4th, 2020. So if you follow me, I do have a 30-day program to tell you what to do. I mean, if you want to get back to work in 30 days, right? So every day I will have live videos in uh, Facebook, in YouTube, and also sometimes in LinkedIn right now. And um, every Saturday, um, like 11 p.m., so it's just 15 minutes uh, later, I will do a group Zoom coaching call. It, it's for free, but by the way, I will charge like 1, uh, 147s, right? But anyways, it's free because of the uh, coronavirus outbreak, and also uh, I see a lot of people unemployed, terminated, or you know, due to the economic situation, it's not good. So I do wants to help, and that's why I do have this program. So um, today is day four. Okay, so um, I need to build a LinkedIn profile. So how to build a great profile. So um, LinkedIn is actually the largest B2B platforms, the top 20, you know, traffic sites, and also like 600, 660 million members, and then presence in China everywhere. And there's a lot of I was like, people getting these, people get, may have sales, and, you know, generated. And also there's a lot of HR recruiters, senior management, and also fast graduate, and um, a lot of influencers out there. So a lot of resources and support, and you can get a lot of career advice. So LinkedIn is very good for you, especially if you want to find jobs, position yourself for more social media branding, and also, you know, interact with some other people, you know, people you know or you don't know, and then they can, you know, just connect, right? So um, yesterday, I actually, the video is talking about where you can find your resources list. And then previous videos is also, you know, telling you what to do. I mean, the mindset and insight. So just go to check out my videos and just like my Facebook page and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's all free, okay? So I kept telling you that you don't need the series, okay, for the first few days. Don't send out the series because LinkedIn, um, it's better. I mean, the profiles is is lot night uh, series is static. LinkedIn profiles you can change anytime. You, you can talk to people, right? It's more interactive. And using LinkedIn is basically you can connect with people and ask for referrals and find out the job, a hidden market, right? So that's why I keep saying that you don't need to see me, but you need a LinkedIn profile. So today I will go through with you. Okay. By the way, um, just let me know um, whether it's like you, you think is you agree or you like that approach, right? So do you also want to use LinkedIn? Do you think LinkedIn is uh, helps you to build your brand and find your jobs? <clears throat> Personally, I I'm able to have like few companies approach me and then hire me through LinkedIn. So um, tell me in the chat below. So whether you want these you know great tips for you. And by the way, tell me where you're connecting from your time zone. And also, if you have any questions, just leave it here and I'll answer you. I mean, maybe at the end of this video or I'll get back to you or you can send inbox to me. OK, so let's focus on build a better profiles. And uh, I will just um, tell, let me know, let you know about the did you see my screen? Yeah, you can see my screen. OK, so I created um, these create your LinkedIn profiles, PowerPoint is quite short, um, but it's like when you're cooking, so you need some ingredients. So at least you know, you need the profile photos, you need the background photos, you need your name, right? I mean, the, your name is some, something there, right? I'll explain. And then the headlines and um, the about sections. And then I'll also give you some bonus guides and tips, like, you know, the context details, logos, and people also view this, so you know what I'm going to talk to you, right? So the first one is about profile photo. Now, please use a decent and recent photos, okay? And um, don't don't be like, you know, 20 years ago when you're a graduate or when you're studying second school, right? <laughs> okay. And anyway, um, you are the only object or only subject in that photos. And um, also remind about the background and it's professional as well. And to wear a appropriate professional attire or maybe Business casual, right? If you are graphic designers, UI, UX, or you're doing IT, or okay, that, that's okay. But I mean, professional, and then maybe also looks good in business casual, right? Don't don't wear very very friendly and casual, or it's just like when you go out with, with people in friends or you know, watching TVs or bar restaurant, right? Don't do that. And uh, use a pleasant facial expressions, smile, okay? <laughs> so do remember that because I do have, we a lot of profiles and it's quite crazy. I mean, the profile is not really stand out. 
Okay, so I just want to give you some sample profile and judge that by common sense, okay? You know, you, you don't need a license or you don't need to be like an examiner or something, but everyone should know what's good and bad, right? So for example, in this profile, <clears throat> You can see that there's a, a blue background. Okay, this is basically the background photo. So it's a um, LinkedIn default one, and because he didn't input anything, so it, it seems like a waste of space. And also, it doesn't sell you. It doesn't, you know, help you. Okay, do anything. Okay, and then for these photos, it's great, right? <laughs> you you have obviously got two friends and uh, two girlfriends or two wife or maybe it's one night stand. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, by the way, this is a real guy, but I think he changed the profile. So I just at that time when I saw uh, when I wrote this profile, I, I think it's quite interesting for teaching. So that's why I'm using that. But yeah, it, I'm I'm so sorry for that. But I mean, it, it's just a good examples to share, right? So I don't even know who. Maybe he's not a guy, right? I don't even know who who are you because I have a students before. He has actually got a team photo there when they're having an event, and then I'll ask, "Hey, who are you?" Okay, so please, you're the only person in the photo, and the decent, you know, things that I I, I give you the tips earlier slide in the earlier slides, and um, for the name, okay, yeah, the name. Uh, you you don't need the training to put your name, right? But I mean, here you you actually. Uh, using some of the space in your surname to to type looking for jobs in Canada or something, and to me, I mean, I I do want the proper capital letters or something, right? So I don't really like people all capital letters or all lower lower capital letters. Okay, so um, this is you know just my gut feeling. It's not good. And by the way, if you turn uh, using the right hand column, so you can see people also wield it. It's like okay, Canada jobs or jobs in Canada. I, I don't know whether it's a is a real profile or not, but you can see Canadian Airlines or you know Canada Canada flag. Of course, it seems like in in Canada and Canada is a good country, but don't use that kind of you know national flag or company logos or some other things. Some some people may be using cats or dogs or something. So. Please be yourself, okay? So this is uh, my tips for you. And second profile. So um, yeah, this is interesting person. I don't know how to treat, treat that ninety degree, but yeah, it's inter interesting. You know, must be very technical safety. Um, anyway, Alan is all in 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 his profile. He say, hey, seeking for job opportunities. So just like previous guy, he's looking for jobs or something. I don't really recommend it because this headline is basically telling people what you are doing and what you're good and 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 you know a, a simple word to describe yourself, right? The default one in LinkedIn is actually uh, your job title at your company. So if you enter your company and the job details, that will be automatic pop up. Or sometimes it's like you can say, hey, student at University of Hong Kong, right? So it doesn't matter, but at least something decent, okay? And by the way, you can see people also wield it in the right hand side. That's like Kelly Smith. There's no um, profile, uh, no pictures. I mean, sometimes no pictures is better than have one, okay? <laughs> okay, so you can just uh, whether it's good or bad. And then I want to show you uh, the one with this is my friends. So obviously, you can see. It seems like the feeling is different, right? So it's a more uh, professional photos, even in casual wear, right? And then the background, you can see, hey, he's like really teaching or in a seminar or presenting, right? Seems he's a speaker. And then um, you also use um, the surname Fogg and then using your career buddy, which have some more meanings to people and, you know, secure interviews and all those things, which in the headline is telling people what he is good at. Good at. And finally, I just want to tell you again, the people also view the function in the right hand side column. So you can see my name. <laughs> okay. So why is, is that? Because LinkedIn is an algorithm and find out those people that are in a similar background. For example, your IT managers, that all those people may be in, in IT managers or people always log out your profile and just like the same thing, sales manager, business development managers or whatever. So that means they are your competitors because like James and I am doing actually the same thing. And so you can also check out my, my profile and then draw some people. But, but yeah, I mean, you, you can consider that. But I mean, this is basically the design of the LinkedIn is to help you to um, expand your network, okay? Have more connections. So this is actually a good thing, but you can turn it off, okay? Anyway, uh, hope, hope this helped. And um, so far we have covered the importance of background photos that you can tell and uh, then what is a good profile photos and then your name okay um appropriate you know capital letters and this is what i preferred and finally the headlines so specifically tell others 
what you do. Okay, so don't just um, looking for jobs, right? Don't just for looking for jobs. It's not really, you know, uh, compelling. I would say. And uh, for the about sections, is is actually the same as your series, the summary or the highlights, um, or you 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 try have to try to have a three to five sentences to, to introduce yourself. The same as the LinkedIn, you can do that. So it's a short story of who you are, and then what you're good at. And what you can offer, okay? What values you can bring to the company? So you may say, "Hey, I, I got 10 years experience in recruitment," and then some quantitative, measurable figures as well. Okay, I, I do like uh, interview 6,000 candidates, right? Some, something like that. And then you know, telling people that what your areas that you focus. And finally, uh, I think maybe if you're fast graduates or maybe you are you want to change jobs in mid 30s or 40s, um, so your mission. Your career objectives, your goals, or your what? What do what do you think about the future in three to five years time? So this is something that you can tell people for additional information. And uh, yeah, don't forget this uh, like marketing concept, call for actions. So you can add your contact details and methods. Like okay, if you're interested, you can uh, send emails to me. Okay, we can chat or something. So just. Tell people that you're open for connections, open for you know discussion, and um, so it's a good way that you can also you know have people to contact you. <coughs> okay, sorry, and uh, finally some other quick tips. So. At contest, at least, please add your email address. It's not really sensitive, right? So nowadays you got a lot of uh, you know subscribe a lot of things, and then you know your email should be a lot of information. Okay, it doesn't matter, right? But at least the contest that people can find out find out who you are and and, and connect with you. And uh, sometimes you can also add uh, phone numbers, your birthdays, and you know WeChat, um, whatever. So um, you can go to your profile sections and then let's go to the, the, the end and then there's some um, context you, you can add and change those things. So maybe you can add personal web website, business website as well. And uh, for the logo, so it's basically talking about your organization stack, your tag. <coughs> Sorry. For example, what I mentioned about, um, okay, maybe I study in Hong Kong University, right? The, 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 um, but there's basically no Hong Kong University in, in Hong Kong. The correct name is the University of Hong Kong. So you have to exactly find out the, the name. And then if you find out the University of Hong Kong, then they have a company page, they have a logo, and then you can tag in. And then this looks better for your profile. Okay. And also uh, remember that when you send out the contacts, just don't click to connect, 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 connect. Please, you know, write something and uh, make it personal so people know why you want to connect with them. And because of this sentence, it's basically changed to becomes the inbox message. So, so they must be able to read it. Okay. And um, yeah, try to fill as many things as possible in LinkedIn. It it doesn't it doesn't really disclose or reveal all the confidence confidential information, right? It just wants to present yourself well, okay? So they have a, like beginners in the media and, and finally it's all star level. So just try to be all star levels and and field as many things as possible. Okay? Oh yeah, sorry. So it's a as a long story. Okay, so I just want to get back to my screen and um, what do you think? So do you think um, my videos are helpful and you know variable to you and you did learn something? So please tell me in the chat and you know uh, type something like yes, okay, to give me some support and um, because I, I I do have twenty something days to to give the contest. And uh, by the way, tomorrow because we have the profile, so we can start contacting our. Um, connections, our, our friends, our referrals. So you get more, you know, leads about interviews, about jobs, about hidden markets. So is, isn't it great, amazing? Okay, also tell me in the chat that, um, okay, what, what do you expect, okay? And uh, what question you want to ask me? So stay tuned and uh, please remember if you haven't uh, watched my videos, you can just like my Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channels. And uh, uh, yeah, Ah, oh, sorry, by the way, because why we are bringing about LinkedIn, because I also have a webinar which is selling at Udemy right now. So you know what is Udemy? So it's an e-learning platform. So it's actually have a lot of tricks about LinkedIn. So how you can contact with people, how you can approach people, and what are the ways that um, you don't 
Uh, because the title is called "What Are the Creative Ways to Change Jobs Without Applying in 2020?" So, something that you don't need to apply, and then people comes to you, just like what I'm what I'm telling you in the earlier video. So people just approach me, and then I, I can change my jobs, right? So these webinar basically、um, can tell you this. So let let's just say, okay, I want to give it to you for free. Okay, it just.、Um, Included and bundled in my career assessment program. This career assessment program is actually、um, I want to understand more about you. I want to know what is current issues and then provide quick advice and solution plans for you and tell you exactly what you need to do. Just like these thirty days, so I walk you through what you resources and what supports that you need. So it's just very very low cost, okay? And、uh, basically, the webinar courses is more than than the, than the、uh, career assessment. But this just wants to start a relationship. So. Yeah, just go to check it, and、uh, yeah, I mean it's it's time to for me to start the Zoom call. So,、um, just go to my website. I will also leave in the links in the、um, comments below. So, www dot next hyphen row dot com. So I will see you in the Zoom call if you register, and also also see you tomorrow. Um, it's on Sunday. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.